In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they dis were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold the piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the first reading from the reading of the apostles, we hear how the first community of uh, Christians, how they live. They, so they were filled with the Holy Spirit and, and, and we see the fruits of the Holy Spirit at work in them, how they were of one mind and one heart. So that's a, a quality of the Holy Spirit is this unity of the Holy Spirit, the communion of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the bond of love between the Father and the Son. He is that, that, that glue, if you will. He's that unity of the Holy Trinity. And so he's been poured out into our hearts, poured out on the, the, the early disciples, and they too experience this unity of the Holy Spirit. It, it causes them to be of one mind and one heart, you know, just like there's one God in three person. And so the disciples are, are one mind and heart. And those who own property, they would sell their property and, and give the proceeds to the, the apostles to distribute according to need. And grace was a great favor, great grace was accorded them. And so they bore witness to Christ. So we see how the Holy Spirit was really present and active in the early church, how it causes people to be generous, to be charitable, to be selfless, to be detached, to be one with another. And so that's how the, the faith grew so quickly. And um, so let's fast forward to our world 2,000 years later. How is it now? It's nothing like that now. There's so much division in the church, in our parishes, um, and uh, in our families, in our world, right? There's just so much division and animosity and hostility. And that's, that comes from the trifold enemy. That's the spirit of the enemy, right? Which includes our fallen human nature, right? And that includes pride, division, um, unforgiveness and all that and it includes the world that we hear that all the time about the world about the, all the division and, and and hostility and anger in the world and of course the enemy himself the devil himself he loves to create division dissension and disunity right that's the mo of the devil and so if if we really need if we want to really the uh, the holy spirit to really to be active and and present in our lives we need to cultivate cultivate that peace that harmony that gentleness uh the charity the patience all the fruits of the holy spirit right kindness and and all those things and and not give in to the temptation of division hostility anger and 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 so on so let us pray we thank you, Jesus, for giving us the Holy Spirit, the, the, the bond of peace, the, the unity and communion of the Lord and for us. And we ask the Holy, you ask you to pour out your Holy Spirit even more upon us now and help us to cultivate this peace and harmony, harmony and oneness of mind and heart of the early disciples in our families, in our parishes, in our church, and in the world. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.